As you guys know, over the last couple of months, we've been shooting, editing, and releasing our new helicopter series, Heading East, which if you haven't seen it, link is up here. It's a five episode helicopter travel series where we fly from Buffalo, New York through New England. And we kind of do an episode in each state, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, and kind of document our journey throughout that trip. That brings us to today's video, which is sponsored by Milanote. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video. I actually started using Milanote probably three years ago. I was introduced to it by Johnny Harris and I started planning all my videos out using this app before we even started working together. I actually reached out to Milanote to see if they wanted to come on board as a partner for the series and for this video because I thought maybe you guys would find it helpful to get a little bit of a peek inside my brain on how I tackle a project like that so you can try to tackle maybe something similar or your own large project in 2022. I plan all my videos using Milanote. I write my narratives in Milanote. Chris and I work on collaborative projects using Milanote. It is fantastic. So it's this, iCal, and notes on my phone, and that's it. Now I talked a little bit about Milanote in my pre-production process video, which I will link up here. So we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into how I use Milanote to plan my videos, but then later I'm also gonna show you an example of how to set up your own project planning board so you can get started on your next big project or even just planning a simple vlog. I talked about this before. Everybody should be doing this if you're making YouTube videos or doing any types of videos. Planning and doing pre-production on your videos will help you up your production value. I'm about to show you a little sneak peek inside my brain. So I have a specific board set up for the helicopter project heading east and within this I have a bunch of subboards. so what I've done here is kind of made columns and titled everything specifically so when I look at it I know that all my series planning boards are in one spot all my content planning is in the next all my trip planning is in the next my brand and sponsor information is there as well and then any extra stuff that I need so any extra boards that are kind of random that don't fit into multiple categories each of these boards have multiple boards, columns, notes inside of them. So like I said, I used Milanote to plan the entire series, the format, narratives, rollout schedule, but I also use it for trip planning as well. So first we're gonna just talk about the series planning. We'll kind of start from the top. Let's open the design mood board for a second. I made a stylescape using the futures format where I kind of found a bunch of images and graphic design elements on the internet and I kind of use them as a mood board, kind of tweaking the colors, laying them out in a layout. Plus I added my own elements that I had designed and that kind of got me thinking about what the design of the series is gonna look like. So as I went through and started designing logos and coming up with concepts for the series, I started dropping my mock-ups in the mood board Board. So I had a quick reference of everything that I've designed to make sure that everything matched, all of the elements matched, Instagram posts, the Instagram stories, that they all matched and were consistent. So here you can see my mock-up of these slides that were in the first episode at the intro where we were kind of showing some photos of Vancouver. And I use that throughout the series to kind of show behind the scenes pictures in the credits portion of the video. So I kind of laid that there. I had a couple of different mock-ups here for Instagram stories. And then of course my mock-ups for my Instagram posts, which were carousel posts. So I kind of made a note here with a little arrow that says, this is an Instagram in-feed carousel post. So I know after a couple of weeks or a month when I come back to it and I'm like, what is this? I know what it is. I kinda have all of this stuff planned so I can look back and get reminded on what everything looks like for the series as we're shooting it, just to look back and just remind myself of like what all the branding looks like so I can make sure that we're sticking to what the original plan for the series was yeah, and it's is. It's a style guide. It's a style guide, yes. Yeah. I love Melanote. This is my brain in here. All right, let's go downtown Portsmouth. So if I open the series rollout schedule, this is where my brain is. <laughs> this board contains every single thing needed to publish the series, to keep me organized, to keep me on track, on schedule, and to handle any of my sponsored deadlines. So on the side here, I've got a bunch of sub boards within this one. Instagram post captions, where I keep all the captions for every Instagram post related to the series. So I was able to write all this copy ahead of time so that on launch day, because I had so much to think about posting the video and the teasers and the Instagrams, I could just copy and paste right from Milanote into my Instagram feed. Next thing down here is the episode launch content check 
checklist, like I said, there was a lot of things to roll out with during the series. So there was the publishing the video, publishing the Instagram carousel, publishing the Instagram stories, publishing Twitter teaser. Basically as I complete them, I could just check them off. And each column here has what episode it is, as well as the date that episode is going up. And that is one of my favorite features of Milanote is the checklist feature. I love a good checklist. I've got a little note here that has my description box standards. Because the series had sponsored content, I wanted to make sure that all of the appropriate links were easily accessible so that I could just copy and paste them into the description boxes of the videos. So over here is the content rollout schedule. So I basically have a column set up for every single week. And within that, I've got checklists or to-dos with every single piece of content that goes up during that week. So I kind of like to look at Milanote as kind of my little virtual assistant because you can assign due dates to all of these tasks. I'll get an email reminder the day before that says you got something due on this date that you have to finish so you should probably hurry up and finish it. Keeps me organized and it keeps me on track which is especially important when you're working with brands you want to make sure that you hit those deadlines that you've agreed upon in your contract. What I have done here is basically outlined everything that was due and everything has its own due date. So I know when I look at this to-do item in this week between October 24th and the 30th that, okay, this trailer post has to go on YouTube on October 24th. And then down here I have a three-day carousel which goes live on my Instagram on October 29th. So all of the due dates are clearly outlined there. Another thing I like to do is use the highlight feature to quickly and visually tag things almost. I use kind of a gray highlight to note that this is a YouTube video and when it goes up. And then I use the neon green highlight as a sponsored kind of tag. So that green highlight quickly draws my eye to the item. And so I know, okay, I have a sponsored blog post or a sponsored Instagram post going up on this day. Some of this you shouldn't be seeing yet because it hasn't gone up. Consider it a sneak peek. Okay, so that's kind of how I do my content scheduling. I just make columns with to-do lists and I use due dates and reminders and those reminders go off in my phone a day, two days, one week before, however I decide to set it. And then I use highlights to be able to quickly reference things while I'm glancing at the board. Now I do prefer the board in dark mode. It looks better. It looks great in light mode as well, but you know, I love dark colors. I love black, I love gray, I love charcoal. So this is this fits the aesthetic. <laughs> Primarily use Milanote to plan my videos, keep track of all my client deadlines and my content schedule. I also use it for trip planning, mood boarding and things like that. When I was planning this trip, I did everything in Milanote. So this is like my whole board. There's like everything is planned out. So I have all my destination itinerary stuff in here. Of course, because we can't book stuff ahead of time with the helicopter because of the weather. We have like spots that we want to hit with like where we're gonna land and the activity we're gonna do, but all of this can change in like a second, depending on the weather. Tri like all of our year trip has changed a lot. As like a backup, I have all these airport camping locations. So I have everybody's airport codes and names and like the people who get the call with like the map locations. So if at any point, like we can't find a spot to stay and we have to camp, um, we can kind of reference this list. So down here under the trip planning tab, you can see I have two boards here, destination and itinerary and airport camping locations. So if you guys watch the series, you know that we did bring our camping gear to potentially camp for a few nights. So if I open this destination and itinerary board on the left here, we have stays and locations. So there's boards in there based on each state that we visited. So Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and heading home, which didn't have a title when I made this board. If I clicked on this, there was stay options, the activity we were gonna do, and the photography location we were gonna do. Now, if you notice, there are two things in here. One of those actually got cut from the episode because of weather. We're doing helicopter trips. It's always up. We can't really plan them. This is as much as we can plan. And that's why we have backup options as well. So this is kind of like my daily calendar for the trip. So I have outlined the day and the dates and I've used emojis to help visually represent the type of stay that we were supposed to be doing. So for example, on Monday the 30th, we were going to land at Basin Harbor and be parked at Basin Harbor. We we're going to be staying at Basin Harbor Resort. And the activity we were gonna do was get on the lake. So stand up paddle boarding or renting a boat. And then the second day we were going to rent a car and drive to Stowe. Of course, we had to cut that from the series. So below I've used emojis to kind of note what amenities we were gonna have in terms
terms of charging our camera gear. I have a little key down here on the left that with the uh, emojis and what they mean. So I use those throughout the calendar to show whether we needed to charge all of our stuff before we left for that location or if we were gonna have power. I really like using emojis for that because it kind of makes it a little bit fun. So this was really helpful while we were en route to our different destinations because if we had a bit of a hang up, we could look at this and have a quick reference to see where we were supposed to be heading next, if it was a campsite or a hotel, and what activity we were gonna do and if that activity needed to be changed or rescheduled to something different. So this was super handy to keep us on track and to make it a little bit less overwhelming and confusing while we were in the air and on the road. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an example on how to set up your own boards and then how I would edit those you know, templates to work within my workflow to give you some inspiration or maybe to make planning your videos a little bit less overwhelming. There's a little pop-up menu that says choose a template. So they have tons of different templates depending on what type of content you want to plan. Of course, here we have empty boards, so you can start from scratch. And so project plan, they have a mood board, create a brief, weekly plan. Um, and then if you hit more templates, it opens it up. So there's a bunch of different types of categories here. So agencies, creative direction, film, TV, game design, graphic design, illustrations. Of course you can use Milanote not just for video planning, but for literally anything else, running your marketing company, doing agency work, photography, mood boarding. So as you can see, when you click on the plan, they give you an example of what it can look like. And I like to make my boards all matching. So I change all my icons to gray because I'm basic and I love the neutral. I highly encourage you to incorporate your brand colors into your board because it just brings so much more joy when you're working on your projects. All right, so let's use this template. So it clears the entire template. So now you're left with an empty board, basically with the bones of what this project is gonna look like. The first thing I like to do when I'm starting with a fresh template for a project plan, rename this note to purpose of the video. And so I'll actually delete the to-do list. I will just take a note here and just drag this down. So you can drag and drop and kind of add things to your column. And this is where I'm just going to kind of write like a one or two liner of what the purpose of the video is gonna be so that I can reference that all the time when I'm trying to figure out what I should put in the video and what I shouldn't include in the video. So the second thing I'm gonna do is change this to video outline. And inside there is where I'm going to put the entire outline with talking points of what my video is gonna be. I'm actually gonna get rid of tasks and I'm gonna add a new board. So I'm gonna go over here to board. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna drag it over here and I'm gonna call this storyboard. And I'll basically set up this ahead of time and then I'll start filling it in. So obviously because I liked my icons to be gray. This one's green, I'm gonna change the color of it. So I can just click on it and come over here to the little sidebar, click on color, and I'm just gonna change that to gray. So now they all match my own branding. So if I open storyboard, we're gonna get the same thing that we saw earlier, which is the choose a template window. So you don't wanna close it here because we're gonna go storyboard. I'm gonna click storyboard and I'm just gonna use this template. And so now I have a template so I can do all my storyboarding in here. When it's time to start storyboarding the video, I'll come back to that. I'm gonna rename this to shooting script. And then I'm going to add one more board and this is gonna be my gear checklist. If I open that up, we're gonna go more templates, film and equipment checklist. We're gonna use this template. And now we have this little template set up here. So that's kind of everything we need. Oh wait, we gotta change the icon. Actually wanna change that to a camera. Wee, cute. Okay, so moving along to the next column, we have inspiration. I'm gonna leave that as is and keep the mood board there. And we can actually kind of start adding things to our mood board, kind of like I showed you earlier in my Heading East mood board. Use this template, it clears it, and now you have a nice spot where you can start dragging and dropping images to kind of wrap your head around what your video is gonna look like. Move this link down. We're gonna add one more board. What I love about this is kind of drag and drop. You can move it around and zoom in, zoom out. It's very interactive. So we call this brainstorm sketches. Once again, let's change that. They recently added this new draw feature. You can draw, kind of sketch out your ideas. How about a smiley face? Yeah, say if I'm kind of planning a video and I know I wanna have a reference video. I've made a video already that I wanna reference throughout the shoot for this shoot, then I can kind of just plop the link in right here. I'm actually gonna delete uh, both of these boards out of this column, and I'm going to rename this to title and keyword dump. And I will add a note in here, and I'm just gonna put title ideas. I'm gonna make that a heading because I'm anal, and I really like to make sure that I have a proper type hierarchy when I'm doing things like this. And then below that, I'm just gonna add a to-do list. So again, I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna drag it into here, and we can just start riffing on title ideas. Sometimes I'll just kind of 
title dump in here. Just a couple of ideas. I'll riff on something, write them all down, and then Chris and I will sit down and look at them and decide what is the best title for the video. Also, something I like to do is adding a second note down here, and this becomes my keyword dump. So this is kind of how I basically set up a project planning mood board, just using the templates that they give you because they're a really great starting point. It can be overwhelming to sit down at a blank board and think, oh my God, I had to plan a video and now I had to figure out what this board is gonna be. So I get a lot of satisfaction out of just sitting down, making a coffee. I know what my video is gonna be. I use one of their templates and then I just kind of work it to wrap my hat around what the video is gonna be. But also I'll try to make it look pretty as well. You can think of the boards kind of like folders. So within each board or folder, you can have a bunch of other things and you can have boards in boards in boards. Obviously I really like the checklist function. I love a good to-do list. To-do list is what I rely on all the time to keep myself organized every single day when I'm working. You can actually work with teams in Milanote. So while I was working with Milanote, I was able to share a board with them and kind of make my notes and edits in the board and they could make their notes and edits in the board so that while we were going through the pre-production process, they could see everything that I was working on. And so it was easy for them to say, yeah, this video outline looks good. Here's what I'd like to add or here's what we liked from a past partnership. And I was able to see everything there. And so the expectations were outlined on both sides. And the last thing I really like is the due date feature. So it's basically like your little virtual assistant setting due dates for all your items on your to-do list and just getting that email sent to you whenever you set it up. So a week before, two days before, two hours before, kind of like a reminder. And the email assistant is actually you from past you because you spent the time to do the pre-production. So that is it guys. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you Milanote for sponsoring today's video. Again, Milanote is a massive game changer for me when it comes to a solo person doing YouTube full time. It's like my brain, it's my assistant, it's my calendar. It's just super helpful. Everything goes through Milanote and it just keeps me organized, keeps me on track and just keeps me from getting overwhelmed because doing this alone full time is like a lot. It's a lot. If you wanna check out Milanote, I'll leave a link in my description below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't checked out Heading East, I will link it up here and we will catch you on the next one. Highly encourage you to incorporate a project plan board in Milanote is actually I'm gonna add another board here. Oh, I can't.